Goldstein at Creative Craft House to show you uh, one of our new designs. I think very interesting, very powerful, many, many things to do. And will appeal to you uh, analytical people and you folks that like uh, word puzzles because you, you've really got a handful here. Um, here's what we got. We've got these um, three towers, as you can see, and each tower has uh, six rings. And they're really nice. Uh, I've used three different woods. It's a quarter inch thick, uh, nice lacquer finished. Um, uh, the, the woods may vary, but this is probably going to be pretty consistent. We've got alder, maple, and mahogany here. I might, I might throw cherry uh, in there, or perhaps red grandis. Something that looks good, provides a contrast, and, and lasers well. And then we've got this nice hardwood base that would may vary too. This one happens to be uh, rubber wood, half inch thick. Um, about uh, a little over maybe 12 and a half inches on the length, 4 inches on the width. The biggest wheel here is about 3.7 inch diameter. Okay, um, The posts are three posts. Um, we've epoxied them in so they're quite sturdy. Um, here's what we got. Let's talk about the word puzzle first um, because it's the most unusual. Um, very, very challenging. Your goal is to create a tower that has a, a series of words that can be read down the column. Now, for example, here's a word that just happens to be in place here, lifted. You can see it. That is a word. It could be a word or it could be more than one word. Um, it could be um, the old or, you know, something. One, two, three words, uh, complete, set, complete words on a column. Now you will find that when the thing is solved, you'll actually have, uh, there's eight columns, you'll have eight words, and it will create a, a sentence. Okay. Now here's the dilemma. It, it's not just contained within the colors of this particular wheel. In order to solve this thing, you're going to have to mix and match the colors. So you'll still create a stack from, from largest wheel to smallest wheel, but the color combinations could be anything. Very difficult, uh, especially to solve the first puzzle. Get one wheel right. When you get one wheel right, then you've got a smaller population of wheels in, in which to, to try to determine the other wheel. But I will tell you, even if you've got the correct wheels in order, it's not that easy to find the message. And <laughs> There's a lot of possible permutations of these wheels. Okay, So very unusual, I, I think uh, very interesting all by itself. Uh, a, a really good puzzle. But we have other puzzles here. In addition to the word, what I'm calling the word towers, we have the towers of Hanoi in, in various possible formats. And these are these are rare. Uh, first of all, this, the standard tower of Hanoi. In the standard tower of Hanoi, you remove um, two of the rings, uh, any, any two of course, and your goal is to transfer the remaining tower to one of the other two posts. There are only two rules. You can only move one at a time and you can never put a larger ring over a smaller ring, so I could not do that. And it uh, uses what is called uh, recursive mathematics, patterns that repeat. There's six rings here, and the minimum number of moves to solve this is 63. 2 to the nth power, where n is the number of rings, minus 1. And, and 2 to the 6 minus 1 is, is 63. Um, just moderately difficult with six rings, uh, not easy, but... Um, uh, fairly reasonable and a nice analytical classic puzzle dates back to 1883. But there, because you have got uh, multiple sets of rings here, and because they're they're different colors, there's some kind of neat things you can do. Uh, one of them would be to to take um, two of the towers. Actually, they can be positioned anywhere. Just for looks, I'll put them there. And your goal is now to transfer the position put the dark one where the light one is and the light one where the dark one is following the same rules. You can only move one ring at a time and never put a larger ring over a smaller ring. Now this is this is difficult. Way, way more difficult than the standard tower. There's still another one uh, that you can do. You can uh, mix the uh, colors. In other words, um, put a dark light and then light dark dark here, and a light here. See, I'm just creating a stack of mixed colors. That's right. 
Now your goal becomes to take, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Now your goal becomes to take these and put them back to where they're monochrome, all the same color uh, on each side. Very difficult. Um, that'll keep you going. I don't have the solutions to those. I know they can be done from various mathematical sites, but I don't uh, have uh, the solution. So if someone um, solves this, um, yeah, please send it to me. <laughs> I can make it available for other people. And that is the same uh, as true as the, the, uh, the one I just described where you're trying to swap positions where the, we do have the monochrome stacks. You can also start with the monochrome stacks and, and try to end up with this position, okay, where the colors are alternating. Okay. And there, there are in fact uh, some other, there's tricolor uh, challenges too, um, uh, but I don't have the details on that. But there are many other things you can, that are possible because you've got these three different color stacks. So this is something that should last uh, many lifetimes. It comes with uh, instructions, it comes with solution to the word puzzles. Uh, I've laser engraved some instructions on the back so that, uh, uh, you know, years from now when paper instructions get lost, at least uh, people will have an idea of uh, what the challenges are. So this is, um, this is our uh, own little design. I hope it's something uh, you can enjoy. And uh, it's available at creativecrafthouse.com. It's made in Hudson, Florida. Thanks very much.